Access Support Community. In this video, we will go through how to sign up, the community, the knowledge base, the case dashboard, how to raise a case, and the service status page. Hello, and welcome to the Access Support Community website. In this video, I'll be showing you how to register with the Support Community website so you can log cases with the support team or both ask and answer questions. So let's get started. Once you've opened the community website, click on the login button in the top right of the screen. This will open up the page to log into the site. As you are registering for the first time, press the not a member button beneath the login button. Enter your first name, last name, and the email address you want to use. Finally, enter your company name in full, or as it is listed with its Access account. This makes linking you to the correct account much quicker and will speed up the setup time. Press sign up and that's it, you're done. You should now receive an email to the email address you specified containing instructions on your password. Please allow up to 24 hours for us to fully set up your account. If there are any problems with signing up or you have an urgent query, Please attempt to sign in, then click the live chat button which appears in the bottom right corner of the screen. Once your account setup is complete, you'll receive another email stating you can now fully use the community. Thanks for watching. Join the community. When you log in to the community page, you should see this screen. Here we have a list of all products that we can get support for. You can click on these directly or go to the products link on the menu. Here we have a list of all access products, not just your own. Scroll down to supply chain services and select your product. Here we will use Factory Master. Now we are on the Factory Master community page. From here, we also have access to the knowledge base. We will cover this later. The community is a list of questions asked by other users. From here, you can answer others' queries or ask a question yourself. To raise a question on the community, click on the Ask a Question button on the community page. Enter your question. If you click on Details, you can add more detail, including attachments. And when you're finished, click Ask. We can now see our question on the community page. Access product experts or other customers may now answer your question. You can continue to respond to answers here, including attachments. You will see on the response, there is the option to select that response as the best answer. If no best answer is selected, then a support case will be automatically raised after 24 hours of asking. To mark an answer as the best, click on Select as Best. This can then be removed and changed if need be. You can have multiple answers, but only one best answer. If we click onto this question, we can see the customer has asked a question, Access have responded, the customer has then replied to this, including a screenshot, and another customer has replied to him. If we go back to the community page, you'll see two buttons to the right. One is Ask a Question, the other is Follow. Follow will give you email updates on products or specific questions that you choose to follow. If you can't find the question you are looking for, there is another Ask a Question button at the bottom of the page.
the knowledge base. Back to the products. This time we are going to go to the knowledge base. Here we are presented with a list of FAQs, release notes and other important documents. The knowledge base is written and maintained by Access Product Experts who have compiled this collection for you to help with common questions and how do I's. This is also where we store the links to previous webinars. If I search for Factory Master Webinar, I can see the post containing all previous webinars. If you use Factory Master, be sure to follow this post. Case Dashboard The Case Dashboard can be found on the menu at the top of the page. The dashboard contains all of your support cases. In this example, all of mine are closed. Here, there is a button to raise a new case with support. This will be covered in the next section. There is also the choice to export this information to Excel. Here are all my cases, and if I click on the case number, I can see a more detailed view of that case, including the priority, the description, the solution, if applicable, and what the current status of the case is. How to raise a case. Once we have clicked on the raise a case button, we are taken to this screen. Once again, there is a list of products that we have entitlements for. To raise a case, we first need to add an entitled product. So, choosing one from the list, we have to type this in. So if we type in dimensions, we can select dimensions. If you cannot see your product in the list of entitled products, or have no entitlements at all, you'll need to go to the home page. Click on about this site, go to the community, Click on Ask a Question. Request your entitlements. If you click on details, you can add more detail, including attachments. Click on ask and we will correct your entitlements for you. Now we have the correct entitlements, let's raise a case. The subject of your query. And then in this section, add as much detail as possible. This will help the support team respond to your query faster. There is also the option to add attachments if you'd like to include screenshots. Finally, we need to select a priority. Priority one is critical. This is for when your system is down, no one can get in and everything has gone wrong. Two is for high priority issues that need resolving immediately. And three is the most common, normal priority. And four is for a low priority issue.
After filling in the relevant fields, we click on Submit. This takes us to the Case Summary screen. and can track this in the case dashboard. Here, I can see my case is set to support outstanding, so I know I am awaiting a response from the support team. If we click on the case number, we are returned to the case summary screen. From here, you can also action your case. You can escalate or increase the priority, or close it yourself. I will select close case then click on Next. Now I can enter a reason for closing the case. If I click on Finish, I am taken back to the case summary screen. This time the case is closed and I can choose to reopen it or not. Service status. If your database is kept with access and you connect to your software remotely, then you are probably a hosted customer. If you keep your own database and software internally on a local network, then you are probably self-hosted. In the menu at the top, you will also notice Service Status. The Access Group will use this page to provide you with information that may affect our hosted products or any other issues. We also give warnings of reduced support over holidays. If you can't log into your software, check the Service Status page for an update. Clicking on the button for Access, Alto, All Hosted Products allows you to check on the status of all Access hosted products. Thanks for watching and be sure to bookmark the URL.